An update now on the breaking news we told you about and have been telling you about throughout the newscast. And Alizé Prozzi is live now with more. What can you tell us, Alizé? Well, here I'm still live at Barney Street. Now, I want you to take a look up there on that steeple. I know we showed you this a little bit ago, but you can see that it's gotten a little bit worse up there, and you see that it's kind of tumbling down. It's because those firefighters are working as hard as they can to try to get those flames under control. Earlier when we were here, those flames were about 20 feet higher than that steeple, so they're making some progress. But as you can tell, it's still a very, very active scene. Flames shoot from a Norfolk church. The fire so intense, the building that looked like this is now being demolished tonight. We brought you the breaking news today, first at four. And Alizé Prozy was the first reporter on the scene. She is live tonight with more. Alizé? As you can see behind me, this is a completely different scene than what we saw earlier. A church has been completely demolished. And you can see firefighters are spraying some of the hot spots, making sure nothing rekindles again. The most important part of this story is that everybody is safe tonight. God, Jesus. Huge flames shoot through the roof of the Church of God True Holiness. I just cannot. I cannot believe this. Priscilla early grew up at this Norfolk church. Her father is the pastor. She watched as dozens of firefighters sprayed gallons upon gallons of water to try to get the fire under control. When her dad got to his church tonight, he was devastated to see more than 40 years of memories get devoured by flames. He was speechless. Fire crews kept pumping water from above and below as the flames creeped closer and closer to the houses next door. Ruth Harris was home when the siding of her house started melting away. I knew um, that, you know, the church was on fire, but I didn't know I was in danger until they came and knocked on the door and let me know how close it was. To the left of the church is Joseph Ward's house. He was home with his wife and two young kids when a firefighter crashed through their window. My wife heard the glass break, and uh, when she heard the glass break, uh, she looked out the window and she saw the fire, and she grabbed the kids up, and I grabbed the dog. When the hoses finally stopped and the smoke started to clear, the scene was chilling. Firefighters watched as the last flame flickered on top of a now black steeple. No one lost their life. We can get another building. So, it's good. <sighs> Firefighters tell me this was accidental. How this began was actually two weeks ago when some thieves went underneath the church and stole some copper wiring. Somebody was in there working on it today and the soldering started this fire. That's what firefighters tell me. Now the two people that were displaced earlier today, they're back home tonight. They're allowed to go in here now that this is finally demolished. Live in Norfolk, Alizé Prozy, News Channel 3.